Welcome back to another Instrad Cube Draft. Seven of eight in the queue. And um, also, Factor is a sponsor again for this for our stream for the next month or so. So definitely check, definitely check Factor out. Um, they're owned by HelloFresh. They have amazing ready-to-go meals. You can use the link and the promo code in my description below. It should also be in the YouTube video. Um, it's a great way to support the channel. It's a great way to get some healthy, delicious meals. Um, they're extremely well reviewed and, uh, you should love them. And if you don't, that's sad, but if you want to support the channel, it's a great way to do it. So definitely check them out. Maybe this queue will fire any day now. And here we go. So <clears throat> on the, on the, on the bright side, I feel like a lot of my opponents and a lot of the friends who've been drafting this cube have been doing much better than I've been doing. On the on the bad side, I've been doing worse than a lot of the people I've mentioned. So that's fine. I don't really have to be a master of the cube. I think I'm trying to do like so. I'm, I'm usually following the strategy I follow with most of the cube stuff that I do. I try to do big, flashy, splashy, cool stuff. Um, and this is like a very tribal, cohesive cube. So it's like I should probably just take Patrician Geist as like a, a spirit lord, and then like try to play spirits. Or Olivia Voldaren's really strong. <clears throat> I'm gonna take the Geist here. Let's lead with a spirit and we'll see what else we can get. Oh, flooded strand, old floody McMuddy. Also a shackle geist, which is a two, two for two. Goes well with spirits. There's also a zombie Lord. I think we're just gonna go with shackle geist here. Cigar to champion of light, humans get plus one, plus one. The human deck is actually really strong if you can get the good pieces for it. Why not just use the this is my cube cheat code? They programmed that in. They forgot this time. Yeah, I mentioned it to them and they were just like, sorry, it's too late. And I was like, all right. It was a bummer. We're only blue right now. We can easily shift into like horror pirates. <laughs> Undead Slayer, probably pretty good. Um, I'm going to take Undead Slayer. I wish I had this last time when we lost a really solid zombie or vampire deck. They didn't make this cube available on Arena 2 in that early... Oh, <laughs> that really soured my experience. Oh, man. If only, like, if only people knew that when they're shitty, they just become memes, you know? Interesting. Okay. Magma Opus is really, really fascinating. There's no spirits in this pack, unfortunately. There's a Vow Decree, which is good. But, man, Magma Opus and Volatile Arsonist being in here is pretty sweet. God, Volatile Arsonist is just really strong. And I've passed it twice in previous drafts. And I'm tempted to just take it. Yeah, I'm just going to take the Volatile Arsonist. Like, we have spirits, but I can easily just play these as... Ooh, Elemental Masterpiece as well. Oh, boy. See, this is what happens. I'm like, ooh, big flashy spell. Ugh. I can take Dungeon Geists and, and keep on. Or I can take the big flashy idiot spell. There's a Vanquish the Horde, which I wished we had last time. I'm taking the Dungeon Geist. I think it's, if we end up Spirits, it's better. And if we don't end up Spirits, I think it's still probably better. God, it took such restraint, man. It's about Lightcaster. Uh, Revolutionist is interesting. We don't have many instants or sorceries yet. Or ways to madness it, so that makes it less interesting for sure. Uh, you can sacrifice any creature for this guy to just counter a spell activated ability or triggered ability. I think we just take Devout Lightcaster and stay on... I think we just do it. I think we just stick with the black, the blue-white theme. 
He showed a real character. Is that character? Um, Mirror Hall Mimic is interesting. I don't think I care about it. I think I'd rather just have Jacob Hawken. That guy's very sweet. Plus, I think having cheap cards is important. Then again, Mirror Hall Mimic goes well with Patrician Geist. Eh, I'm going to take the Hawken. I think having the looter is, is really important. Oh, Deserted Beach. Nibless of Frost. This guy's really good. When we cast an instant or sorcery, you tap a creature. And then it doesn't untap. So why don't they just add this to say put a stun counter on it? I don't know. But I'd rather have the, the beach because I do have a devout light caster, which is triple white. <sighs> but this guy's really good. I want to take the land. I, I think the land is safer here. Um, I can take a clifftop retreat and cross my fingers that maybe we can just play Volatile Arsonist. Mm, cleansing Ray. Conduit of Storms, whenever it attacks at a red. And then whenever it attacks, you add two colorless. We could still be white red. I'll take the Cleansing Ray. I don't know. Stitcher Draw. If each player mills three cards, X helps two creature cards put into graveyards this way. And then you create an XX -like zombie where X is a total power. I mean, it's still just a blue card we can play. Vexing Scuttler is the only card I could see us playing here. Don't care about Delver, but it's the only card that we can actually play in this pack. And Liliana's contract. And they had a harmless offering. I wonder, I'm, I'm tempted to take Liliana's contract out because I think it's definitely hard to, to have four demons and a five mana Liliana's contract. On the other hand, like, I feel like a lot of Lost Caverns of Ixalan cards are adding to the demon theme. Oh, we got a Jace. Very strong. Also a Sarah. Um, yeah, I think we're just taking Jace. Planeswalkers are fairly rare in this queue, and I think they're pretty strong. Obligatory, gotta take Lily, doesn't even make any sense. Why is that obligatory? <laughs> doesn't even make any sense. Uh, Voldaren Estate. Great for vamps. Rise from the Tide, not for us. Lantern for Lair, not for us. Malevolent Hermit. It's a 2 1 for 2 at worst. Rafine's Tower is a dual land for us. Yeah, I think it's probably just Rafine's Tower here. I'm just f crossing my fingers that, that more spirits come by because I'm just not seeing very many spirits. We could just be. We could just be red, red, blue. I do love an elder deep fiend. If neither, if it's neither day or night, it becomes day. Instant and sorcery spells cost X less where X is his power. And whenever day becomes night, you put a one, one counter on him or, or you know, whenever it flips. I'm going to take the Vadric.
There's no, there's no, I guess the Geist Wave is probably fine. Yeah, I think f we can just take Geist Wave and f it's another spell for Vexing Scuttler. Here's a spirit. Repository Scab just m exploits to return an instant or sorcery. Storm Carved Coast. What do we get? We get Volatile Arsonist and Revolutionist. Unfortunately, Jacob Hauken does not let us discard for madness. Um, Fleeting Spirit does, ironically. Don't think it's Ludovic's test subject. I don't think Spirits is panning out for us. I'm still gonna I'm just gonna take Fleeting Spirit. I think there's still a chance. <laughs> it's not looking good. Man, I feel like I just keep going into the wrong archetypes, and it's making me sad. Investigator's journal could be fine though. Yeah, I'll take the journal. Dream Shackle, guys. 3-1 fly, 3 any combat. Tap a creature or target creature doesn't untap. Uh, that is a Geist. Also, Karmic Guide is a spirit, interestingly enough. I'm going to take the Dream Shackle Geist here. Oh, Niblis of the Urn. That guy is very good. Yeah, all right. Well, now we're getting some spirits. Some spurts. We could also probably just play Undead Slayer or Devout Lightcaster in the main deck, to be quite honest. Oh, Undreamt Tuna. Welcome back. Appreciate you. Two more months. To oh, wow. <laughs> That's like two more months until... Hmm, I see. I see. Classic. Classic. Okay. Uh, is it Collective Defiance here? Maybe. Probably. There's nothing else in this pack for us. Yeah, it's fine. Not exciting, but it exists, and that's important. The best part of waking up Spirits in your gut. Spirits, the fresh maker. That doesn't make any sense. Why would he say that? This guy lets us discard though. That's a that's a traditional looter. Yeah, I'll take the traditional looter. The trad looter, if you will. Oh, Malevolent Herman. I didn't think this Kaya was gonna come back, but here she is. Interesting. We also have this gentleman. He turns into a spirit. I don't. I think it's probably this guy. We only have Cliff, Cliff, uh, Rafine, Rafine's tower to to splash a Kaya off of. What's exciting here? Not much. Sin Prodder. We'll just take Vault. Ludovic's Test Subject. I want to take the Gristle Brand. No one else needs to have that. Now we get a Shattered Sanctum. I think it's worth taking with the Rafine's Tower to maybe splash a black card. Then only 29 and a quarter years till I can finally unsub. What happens then? That's so much math. I can't do all that math. Jesus. <laughs> then it's 69 years. No, that would be 24, 29 years. 
420 months. Wow. Appreciate your magic marker studio. <laughs> You're fighting the good fight. I do like Soren a lot. And we did take that Shattered Sanctum. However, Scalding Tarn gets Rafine's Tower. Yeah, I kind of feel like it's Soren here. There's nothing There's nothing spirity in this pack. Also, the blue cards are not super exciting. I'm just going to take this, Soren. I feel like I just keep leaning towards Esper Control decks. Wow, like this Liliana here, huh? I do like a Resto. Interesting. Interesto-ing. Yeah, I don't think it's double black card, even though I think Liliana is very good. Geist Light Snare. Uh, Poppet Stitcher. Yeah, I'm just going to take the Resto here. I do like a Doom Foretold a lot. Uh, Borrowed Time is pretty good. I might just want the Dual Land here. No, I think I want the Borrowed Time. Yeah, my friend, my friend Jason, Jason Chandler, we call him Chan Chan. He actually, he won with a Sinner's Judgment the other day, which is pretty sweet. Not super easy to do. Like, this has to die. Then you have to pay seven for it. And then it takes, like, three turns after that. And they have to not be able to get rid of it. Like, that's a lot going on. I kind of like Memory Deluge here. Although Polluted Delta does get Rafine's Tower. I'm just going to take the Deluge. That seems strong. Oh, Supreme Phantom. I do like a Supreme Phantom. So this is a 1-2 for 3 that adds a man of any color, and then you put an omen counter on it, and then it flips if it has three or more omen counters. And it becomes a 5-5. Five five. That's actually pretty decent. I also do like ramping a lot in this format because I do think there's a lot of rewarding, ex more expensive cards. I'll take Bonds of Faith. That's usually going to stop most creatures. Oh, Spell Queller. And a Spectral Shepherd. I think it's just Spell Queller here. All right. I, I feel like this deck actually uh, kind of came together here. If that blue white land comes back. Draw three. It costs two less if, they're, if we have Delirium. Or Rally, which we can possibly splash. The flashback, at least. Card Foreboding. Okay, Creative Outburst, double red, not not great. I'll just take the Liliana, because maybe with Foreboding Statue, it's a little more realistic. Hmm. Mind Flayer. Steal a guy. Don't think we're ongoing investigation. I do like Doom Foretold. I think I'm just going to take the, the Mind Flayer. Like we're in an episode of Stranger Things. Secrets of the Key. Oh, Moreland Haunt? Fantastic. Interesting. I think I would definitely splash for a Denrova Horror here. And that could be our 23rd card, assuming we don't play Vexing Scuttler.
Yeah, I kind of like this. Two black splashes that cost six. We have Foreboding, uh, Shattered, and Rafine's Tower. All right. So let's make sure everything here is what we want. I think we play Moreland Haunt for sure. I don't think we play Vault of the Archangel though, just because I think we have enough. Uh, I don't. I don't want too many colorless lands. Wow, this can go anywhere. I can take this off the screen. Look at it, it just goes anywhere. Okay, so we're definitely very heavy blue, and all of our white cards only cost one white, so this is actually pretty good in terms of mana. Okay. Uh, okay, so nine, 10, 11, 11. So three, four, five, six. I would go seven, 10. And one swamp, I actually think that's correct. Yeah, that feels good. All right, let's do it. Because I still want white relatively early for Fleeting Spirit, Niblis, Spell Queller. Let's play first. I will keep it. Investigator's Journal, as you can imagine, not great on turn two. Jonathan, Jacob Hauken, however, pretty decent. Okay, three, two, you got it. Beautiful. Well, Let's loot before we do anything else. And there's about for the number of suspect counters on the equals a greater number of creatures players. So one right now. Um, I think we're just getting rid of an island. I will not pay six. No, thank you though. Raining outside, cup of coffee, bug under the blanket. <laughs> oh, oh, how uh, how cozy, Neon Tokyo. Oh, that's actually shockingly not bad for us right here. I will take two. I'm going to put an omen counter on this guy right now. I don't have to. Oh, I can't hit Scott summoning sickness. <laughs> That's not how Magic the Gathering works, you silly goose. I'm drinking a limited edition zero sugar winter spiced cranberry Sprite. That's a mouthful right there. So we can either play Dungeon Geist Oh, interesting. I definitely want to hit a land here. I'll put the little hermit under there. So what do we got? Land. We could just play both of these. And then we can actually tap one of these guys down on their turn. I kind of like that. Okay, you got a little champ. Big champs. Check in and see. Ooh, Death Baron, eh? Well, that guy's buffing everything. 
Okay, so we are gonna go tap this guy down and then we'll just take four. Abilities that exiled creatures for one white mana. I mean, how many did they have? <laughs> There's not that many of those in the queue. Oh, a Dinrova Horror. Well, I'm going to try to hit a land here because I want to be able to play Dinrova Horror. I did not hit a land. <sighs> Interesting. I think it's actually Supreme Phantom here. Or if I play Phantom, I can attack for seven. But, like, this is a big crackback. I kind of want to play Geist here. I don't think I have the luxury of Investigator's Journal, and I also get it back. So four four the god giving them death touch is really good. God, maybe Death Baron's too good. <laughs> oh this guy's got intimidate. Um I don't think I, I don't know if I want to attack here. I feel like I have to. Well, yeah, I mean, I put the hosers in here because there's twice as many black cards as any other color in the cube, so. So do I tap something down? If I do, I take four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, if I tap this guy down, I take five, which I think is probably good. Oh, they're, they're gonna do something in response. Killing. Oh, I guess they don't have to choose until it enters the battlefield. Killing my... Really? Interesting. Okay. That was not what I was going to expect. Taking five. Then they get their little invasion, but it only gets... Yeah, that's pretty good. I think I might just be dead here. Huh. Well, that is a thing. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We're very close. But not that close. This guy's not coming in. Five. If I can chump block here. Then we're taking what? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's not lethal. So we're going to tap five down. Then we take four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then we can block with Jacob. And we go to one. And that's the plan. We can also loot and see if we can hit like our bounce spell or like a spell queller.
All right, fingers crossed the three cards do not yield them a victory. We are in combat. And I'm tapping because I need the bodies in order to kill them and deal the eight damage, so. If we can get away with no removal spell. Oh my god, we're so close. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and twelve. Oh, actually, wait. I was I was incorrect. My math was off. I think we're still okay. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. We could even block a Death Baron here, which I kind of like. This is only twelve damage. Wow, it was a spell caller. That's super cool. Wow, I did not expect to win that game. Also, I'm trying to figure out if I just, if I went too fast and didn't spell Queller the Baleful Mastery. Oh no, we drew that off of, um, we drew that off of the Baleful Mastery. That's what happened. Yeah, we actually exiled land, so. Wow, Baleful Master actually gave us the card we needed. Uh... So we'll bring an Undead Slayer for sure. I don't think we have enough for Devout Lightcaster. They are zombies, not vampires, so I don't think Cleansing Ray does anything. Hmm. I need to invent a strainer for fried rice that removes the peas. You're out of your mind. Peas are delicious. You sound like a bloody savage. And I think we can easily take a blue out for another white. Like, we just don't need that much blue. And I think we could bring in Devout Lightcaster. This is what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sources of, of white plus foreboding statue. Take out the Investigator's Journal. Dry. I feel like if you're getting if you're getting bad fried rice, maybe, but uh, this is a keeper. We have two of our white sources, so don't play champion. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, that was good. That was a good draw. I agree, man. Peas are delicious. Oh, an asylum visitor. So we're just definitely going to go foreboding statue here. Oh my god. People not liking peas, man. Like, let me know when you're Seventh birthday is. Oh, Lord. Oh, a little cemetery reaper. Buddy, that's a... This is a vampire. Oh, did you want anything for your little birthday? Uh, 
I want to keep Spell Queller up. I do like getting closer to the Devout Lightcaster. We're not going to... We're not going to block. Mm, that guy's pretty good. Well, shoot. I don't really want to discard a Soren. I think it's a really good late game card. But then again, our hand is, I think it just might be Supreme Phantom. God, it feels weird. And then again, I forget, like it doesn't go to the graveyard. It just goes under here and we can potentially play it in the future. Yeah, I'm actually gonna pass here and keep up Spell Queller. Maybe I just block the Cemetery Reaper with a Spell Queller. That seems good, right? It's like a resto. It's like a poor man's resto. Are they gonna Baleful master it? Oh, they're just gonna they're just gonna invasion of Innistrad it. Okay. That is an option for you. Okay, White Land. Got it, got it. I think I want to just borrow time that guy. We could also foreboding statue and then guarantee us hitting a a white source for Devout Lightcaster, which could be pretty good. I think I don't want them to come through and hit this. We could just block here too. See what we hit. And then next turn, if we actually play this and it survives, we get to play Soren or Devout. Yeah, that seems good. Let's do that. I mean, Broccoli is definitely a vehicle for dips, don't get me wrong. Sacrifice another creature, you create X 2-2s two where X is their, their power, so yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, just this guy. Oh yeah, definitely letting that get through. No chance. Uh, that guy can go. That guy is the weakest link for sure. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six mana, so we can actually play Borrowed Time. Oh, yeah, this game's going well, let's say. Oh yeah, we're doing it. This is the first time we're actually doing it, so. They have two cards. We have a Soren and a lot of a lot of good things here. Alright. I'm in. Red pepper and French onion dip. I don't even... Are those two different dips or is that just one dip? I have not seen the serpent and the rainbow. I've never even heard of that, actually. Okay. Two zomboids. What? Is, oh, French onion dip, you mean like... Like the kind you dip potato chips in. Is that correct in saying... Okay, so you're dipping red bell peppers into the into the French onion dip. Got it. Got it. We're figuring it out. This guy, this guy's gonna hold down the fort. Let me tell you. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we just soar in here. Maybe we plus. No, let's add a black. He he likes that. I think we just kill this guy for one. 
Like, and now they just don't have enough power to get through to kill Soren. Kind of healthy, kind of junky snack. That's true. I could have flipped I could have flipped Jacob and, and played him for free. I wasn't sure if I was ready for it yet. Um I do want to play a land here, especially if we're starting to get free stuff. Because I think that's obviously gonna be our play next turn. We really just don't have much going on. Um All right, what are we playing here? Probably Patrician Geist, right? Okay. <laughs> yes, Patrician Geist then. Sounds good. Play land, and this guy's going to flip at the end of the turn. You got a little Crypt Breaker? What's an MLP cube? What does that even mean? Okay, that guy's good. Three. Oh, they're just drawing cards. They're just they're just netting there. My little pony. I wonder how many people in this chat knew that without looking it up or asking. I wonder if this is a My Little Pony chat audience. Where they're like, oh yeah, MLP? Big bronies up in here. I didn't know it. <laughs> There's like two My Little Pony cards. And then, okay, recently they had the... Uh, The secret layer. I'm going to get this before they can get it. And then... I think I just have to kill this lord here, right? Or Crypt Breaker. Crypt Breaker is also very good. Like, it's funny because we were in a great position and then they played this guy into this guy and then it's like, oh, well, that's a lot of things. Um, I mean, we're obviously playing both the cards in our hand, I would assume. Yeah, I think Soren's getting rid of guys is probably more important here. I want to get rid of the Crypt Breaker because it draws them a bunch of cards, but I also want to get rid of the Diagraph because it really buffs them. I'm going to have to get rid of Crypty Boy. They have one card in hand. Like, I really just don't want them to start drawing a bunch of cards. This guy doesn't have Vigilance. Come on, buddy. One card, huh? I think just getting rid of this guy is probably... I mean, it's just a 3-3, three, three, but... So we can go block, block. I think that's probably fine. I don't want them to discard and block our Patrician Geist, so I'll just pass here.
it's funny calling them boomers because my little pony is literally from like the 80s so it's like it's not like it's a new it's not like it's a new brand okay late champion and then i think yeah they're gonna excel their crypt breaker seems good I don't think I have any responses to anything, so I'm just going to have six here. This card's been so so satisfying that I feel like adding it to the Vintage Cube as one of the, the two mana looters for, for blue. It's nice we can soar in their Diagraph Captain and then actually eat it with our Moreland Haunt before they get a chance to do so. What did we hit? Oh, Arresto? Oh, we can blink our Devout Lightcaster? Yummy, yummy. Uh, we'll do a white. No. Gonna Soren. Kill the Capitan. Uh, oh, we can't, we can't exile it. We don't have, that's not how that works. Um. Let's cast this guy and blink Devout Lightcaster. oh okay <laughs> that's that's the end of that we were going to exile the graveyard marshal so that they couldn't get this guy back um yeah the cable glad to hear it thank you so much for saying so buddy are you the cable from marvel comics Unrelated origin for the nickname, actually. That's like, I mean, that makes sense. Um, I was actually thinking of doing a video on the Marvel announcement. All right. Marvel announcement. I can't tell if he's being serious or not. Oh dear. Oh man, back to back champion of the parish matches. 
Bummer. Well, we have Shacklegeist into Spell Queller. Or Foreboding Statue. And then we get to Resto. Resto Spell Queller. That's exciting. Is it? This guy's just a 3-3 three, three for 2. Man, they're getting they're getting beefy up in here. Uh, the red donate card is for Demonic Pact. So if you have Demonic Pact, you can give it to your opponent and kill them. Oh, wow. This is like the same deck. My god. They're doing very well for themselves. Let's put it that way. Okay. Well, we have some removals here. So we can get rid of four power, or we can get rid of... Eh, I guess this also gets rid of four power. I also don't think this is going to do it. I think we're... I think we're quite dead here. Well, that guy's good. Oh, they had a Pelucranos. That's pretty good. Ironically, Giza and Drolf, not zombies. So Bonds of Faith can hit something. Yeah, we're just dead here. This is a very good start. Okay, so Undead Slayer, Devout Lightcaster, coming back in. Taking... Another one of these for another one of these. Uh, I could take out Stitcher Drolf again and probably Investigator's Journal. It might be a little too slow. Again, Cleansing Ray does not hit zombies. So I don't think that's the ticket. Did opponent win that fast? Yes. Yes, they did. They went turn one champion, turn two, graph, the 3-3 three, three that can exploit to kill a planeswalker. So they had five power. And then they went death baron. So then they had ten power. And then they went Giza and Giralf, which is another 4-4. Four, four, so pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. Uh, this hand seems fine. I would love a two drop. No, grief isn't in the cube. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Please leave. You have to go now. So we have two out of three white sources for Devout Lightcaster if we hit it. Card is terrifying. Touche. Well, well said. Yeah, maybe the horror keep should just be cards that are horrifying as cards. What's the hold up here? They went to six. Got it. Got it. Okay. Is that a plug pull? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Get a load of Andy. Andy! 
I'm going to go with planes here just because if we do hit a devout light caster, we can now play it. Otherwise, we'll just play one of our two, three drops. Uh, target creature doesn't untap, tap a creature, none. I will put none onto the stack. That's interesting. Oh, they didn't do anything. Okay, cool. Cool. <laughs> Rewarding. Actually, we have no reason to play Geist here. We can just keep up Resto in case they try to kill this guy. Because this is just fine. And also we can Memory Deluge if they don't do anything. Yep, that guy's fine. Why didn't you play one of those last turn? You couldn't have drawn both of them. I'm very confused. Undead Slayer seems good. Put two of them, eh? Well, let's get a land and an Undead Slayer. And now we're going to draw another land anyway, so that's... Oh, we did not. But we did draw a Devout Lightcaster. Is that, is that better than Undead Slayer, though? I think it's early enough that I want to get the Undead Slayer down. <laughs> Gasp. <laughs> um... Yeah, we'll tap this. Well, no, we're not tapping it. We're just making sure it doesn't untap because tapping it right now doesn't do anything. But if they attack with it, that doesn't do anything either. So I guess it doesn't really matter. Totally, totally irrelevant at this point in time. So. <laughs> oh, you got blade over there yes that is correct yeah and see this is the reason like this is the reason like I kind of put them in here because like the black decks are so strong because there's so many black cards in the cube like there's several zombie lords there's several vampire lords like this guy there you go there's a death baron so it's kind of like you need something to... Plus, it's only a 2-2, right? So, like, draft removal to kill a 2-2 and you'll be fine. But, like, this doesn't take over a game any more than, like, you know, a really powerful vintage cube card would. So... Plus, now I can't play Devout Lightcaster. I have to choose either to exile one thing or... I mean, we're definitely going to just exile this guy. So wait, we have one, two, three. I think we're just keeping up Resto again. I don't really see a reason not to. I guess we can play Geist and keep up Geist Wave. I do kind of like that. Mm, no untappies. protection and also like it takes a turn to get going like this guy is really cost prohibitive oof hmm interesting so let's pay unless they pay three yeah we're probably doing that I don't really want to lose three of these cards There was no victim of the night because it just doesn't kill enough. Like, it actually, it, 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 because it's a card that benefits only the black decks. It kills angels, humans, spirits, and that's it. Like, I didn't want to give protection 
to the vampires and the zombies because they're so heavily represented. That's pretty interesting. I mean, this just feels really strong, I'll be honest. Uh, it doesn't matter. I mean, they also crushed us in game one with turn one, turn two, turn three. So like, this is, I don't feel terrible about it. This guy's three to disturb. I mean, if you're referring to this two, two, I don't think that's unbeatable. No, I think you just kill it. Like it's a two, two, like it costs three mana. You have to tap it. You can only use it once a turn. Like it's, I mean, it's, it's great right now, but I, I definitely don't think it's an unbeatable card and it's definitely a card you can, um, plan for if you know it's in the cube. I mean, honestly, of all the, of all the spot removal, I think undead slayer might be one of the better ones. This is eight damage. Yeah, so I think we just we're just gonna win here. Oh yeah, right now it's if they don't have an answer for it, it's like it's brutal. That was the guy with the shotgun, <laughs> Bruce Campbell. Yes. I mean, I'm taking this guy out now because it's just a body. I should have played it last turn, but that's fine. So what we can do is Geist Wave one guy. Four, five, six. Yeah, they're tapped out, so we're just gonna Geist Wave this gentleman and then just tap this guy and kill them. Get in there. Yeah, honestly, like, if they don't have an answer, this is actually pretty brutal. I'll give them the old NP. I think we're just going to submit like this. I think our, I think this, this configuration is fine. Then we wait. It's lovely. I've yet to cast in Robo Horror or Jace or Mind Flare. So I bet all three of those will be in my opening hand now that I said something. I've just influenced the universe. It's a Mark stream. Everyone's like, this is not what I'm here for. I have to leave now. This streamer makes sounds. I'm out of here. <laughs> oh. Silence, please. No talking. Mm, yes. Uh, I can see an MTG ASMR stream being like cracking packs. 
and then just talking about cards. Like all, all most ASMR is just talking, right? And then like sounds. Uh. All right, our opponent made a drink, and now we're back. I don't like this hand with no white. Because this guy's basically a mulligan anyway. Fascinating. Ooh, they said good luck. That means they have a really good hand. Dang it. Uh, I will snap keep this. I do like a mind flare. I'm going to take... Uh, we'll ship Nibbles. Old Nibbly Bibbly. Mm, let's play this now. We have nothing to... Man, I do like a Dinrova Horror. So if we go land for boating, that gives us five, and we can Mind Flare into Horror if we hit one more land. Well, we got it two lands total, I guess, but... Oh, the Foreboding Horror Mirror match, it seems. Oh, man. I kind of just want to play that, but it doesn't let us do anything. So we can just play Horror, and then loot this turn to try to see if we can hit something else. Otherwise, we just get a three drop into Rafine's Tower, which is fine. I got a notification that my Taylor Swift 1989 Taylor's version vinyl shipped two days ago, but the tracking has not updated yet. The label has just been created and that's it. So that's unfortunate. Can you hurry up maybe? Oh, mind rack demon. Get racking. Rackalacka. Uh, let's do a little looty tooty, fresh and fruity. Devout Lightcaster? Oh yeah, we're getting rid of this guy. I will not. So now that's actually a fantastic three. This is, this is going to be. So we're going to play this. We're going to cast some light on that demon. Get out of here, demon. And then we're just going to pass. I like the notifications for each. We put the vinyl in the sleeve. We've now shrink wrapped the vinyl. Tomorrow the vinyl is going in a cardboard box with some bubble wrap. Perhaps that same day we'll tape up the box. The day after we will label the box. After another day we'll have Jimmy ship it out to the to the post office. Mm, master of death, you see. I think our cards are just very strong. I'm just going to I'm just going to go out on a limb. I don't know why this hypothetical is really coming. We accidentally dropped 
the vinyl. Upon inspection, there was no damage. So we dusted it off and returned it to the box. We think you'll be happy. Oh, I'm going to get rid of Spelly Boy. I will not flip. And then we're going to play Dinrova Horror. Or that guy. Okay, yeah, I think this game is just over. Like, our cards are just too strong. But they're just too strong. I think I am going to take out Devout Lightcaster, though. Like, it is three white. But for a black deck, it's also very, very strong. I'm just going to pass here. Okay. Okay. El Capitan. I don't actually have a favorite pack one pick one yet. Because I don't think the cube has, has like, it's... In a, in a, in like a vintage cube, right? There's obvious pack one, pick ones where you're like, man, I hope I get Lotus. I hope I get time walk. I hope I get soul ring, whatever. Right? Like those are just generic best picks. Um, I don't think it's the case in this cube. I like putting Soren away and then flipping this guy next turn. That is... Good times, great oldies. What else we got under here? Dream Shackle Geist? Let's get rid of this guy. Two. Play this guy. Still not going to attack here. I just, I, I think I'd rather protect Soren. If we attack, well, I guess they're not going to, it's unlikely they'll have a removal spell. I mean, to be fair, these hosers like beat their deck both games. I, I think, I think Devout Lightcaster is a little too strong. Oh, I like a Wand of Orcus, though. Orcus Magorcus. All right, let's see what, we, what we're hitting here. Was that a malevolent, malevolent hermit? What do we want? Blue? Sure. Okay, whenever a equipped creature attacks or blocks, it and zombies gain death touch. Whenever it deals combat damage, create that many 2-2 two -two zombies. I think we just reveal here. Fleeting spirit, eh? Let's cast this guy. Oh, I guess we have we have the free blue, so. Um I mean might as well just run everything out there, I guess. Now I might attack. Let's tap.
Oh, I probably should have attacked with the 5-5 five five as well. That would have been... That would have been exceptional. Okay, that guy's good. We have Mind Flare, which we've been saving for just such an occasion. Nothing to do EOT. Good old Geist Wave. Give me this guy. <laughs> we are. What is it? What is it? How do we flip this guy? It's a creature. Okay. Um. So can we just? I think we're just gonna alpha here. Tap this gentleman. One, three, four, five. I don't know if this is lethal. Oh, it is. It's 17. <laughs> uh. All right. All right. I'll give him the GGs. This guy was fun. Yeah, he said, like, you were getting beaten by Devout Lightcaster. They said, no, it's good in this set. Like, like, I think it is good because there's, like, 900 black cards. But I'm not sure if that makes it, like, worse. But we are uh, we are on track for our first three zero, and by on track I mean we've won two rounds, and we could easily lose the last round. Oh, uh, I can keep this hand. Two removal spells. The black for Soren is good. Oh, uh, yeah, keep. I guess we're just playing Shattered Sanctum here. All right, so now we have all the mana we could ever want, except for if we want to cast about Lightcaster, but that's in the sideboard. I actually don't have any videos on like how to build a cube. That's a good idea, though. Okay, you want to... Oh, more more lands. Perfect. At the... Uh, I'm just going to pass. I don't feel a, a huge pressure to put a, a Bonds of Faith on a Niblis. This feels like a match where my black cards are not needed. By black cards, I mean anti-black cards, like the... You know, the light caster and the other guy. Okay, well, that guy's... He's more obnoxious now. I also have a bunch of two drops. I don't know where they are. 
could be anywhere. Get out of here, little little geist. Got him. Take off. Also, if you guys want to support the channel and you're looking for a great meal delivery service, which has phenomenal reviews, definitely check out Factor. You can find the link down below in the description in YouTube or on Twitch, or you can find it in the chat. You get 50% uh, off your first box, which is a fantastic deal and it's a great way to support the channel i get a kickback from that so if you guys are looking to support the channel anyway you will likely get more value for both me and you if you uh just sign up for factor you can cancel anytime you want and your first box is half price so it's a good deal what do we think spell caller coming down here no fascinating they're going to resto and blink the Nibbles, maybe. I'm making a lot of predictions here. Midnight Haunting. Got it, got it. That feels less scary. Okay, I think, yeah, I think that's good for us if they're just playing Spectral Shepherd here. Five mana, eh? So Mind Flayer is not great while they have Spectral Shepherd because they could just bounce. They're probably just going to bounce this guy. Huh. Well, it's not ideal. They do have two cards to our five. Yep. <laughs> yep. Good old Ernie. We can call him Ernie, right? Nibbles of the urn, Ernie. Right? Guys? Guys? All right, let's see if this resolves. God, the lag is so real, dude. Don't geist wave me, bro. It's not cryptic command. Oh. All right, let's reveal. Because we can't kill anything. Like, they'll just bounce it. Oh, I guess we can kill the spirit tokens, right? Like, they can't bounce those. <laughs> All right, hold on. I'm going to actually... Uh... I'm going to restart real quick just for a more satisfying experience. Man, for someone with 64 gigabytes of RAM, I would expect to not have this happen, but here we are. What do we hit? Island? That's a bummer. That's a, that's a bummer, man. Well, we're not attacking. They can tap this with Nibbles. One, two, three, four, five. Soren goes to two. That would be sad. Oof. Soren dies. Sad. Very sad. If 
That is a bum bum. But we can mind flare this now, so that's a thing. Gain control of target creature. So I gained control of this. Oh, it's enchant creature you control. That's great. So once it goes to once it once they lose control of it, it goes to the grumper. That's pretty cool. Oh, wow, we just win this game? I was not expecting that. Oh, now we can bring in Cleansing Ray. No, that's not the one. Dang it. I thought it was the enchantment that destroyed a spirit. It wasn't. What a dummy. Yeah, I think we're actually good. One land, eh? No, don't like that. Pizza time. Ah, that's better. Pitch Geralt. We don't need no five mana cards in this in this mulliganed hand. Oh, Orphine's Tower was a great draw. Not only is that a third land for you, boy. Micaeus the Lunark. That's just loony. Don't make... That's terrible. Don't say that. So speaking of what I said earlier, nothing grinds my gears more than when you get a shipping notification from a company and it just means that they have a tracking number. The label's created. It's going to sit there for two weeks, but we printed out your tracking number. So that counts as being shipped. Like don't send it to me until there's actually movement. That's I'd rather think it's not shipped than get a shipping number and be like, Oh, it's not shipped. Then I refresh it in two days and I'm like, oh, I still haven't shipped it, huh? It's just weird, okay? Just don't do it. This gives us the mana we need. I think we're just gonna play this guy. Don't spell quell on me, bro. I'm 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 telling you. Don't do it. Okay. That's fine. I accept. Okay, they didn't spell quality, they geist, wo geist woved it. Woved. <laughs> We're having a good time. Wow. That's rude. Pump him up. 
pump up the jams. Or you could take a counter off. Yeah, that's what I figured you'd do, because then this guy's going to be a 3-3. Three, three. Oh, actually, he can target himself, right? Yeah, so he actually gets plus three, plus three, so he's a 5-5. Five, five. That's pretty strong. We're definitely going to put that guy on borrowed time. This guy doesn't even care about having other vampires. Oof. Brutal. Well, a land here would have been great because then we can play two things. Bishop of B. <laughs> Just talking about that Bishop of B, you know the one. They're going to tap my Geist and then get in there for three. Both of these are very good. Why don't this guy float? Nibbles of the urn. Another situation where I don't have two. Huh. Fascinating. Is it worth trading with this? Probably. I mean, if they have an answer, though, it's kind of rough, right? They have one card. Let's just get in there. How do they have Geist Snare? Alchemist Retrieval. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's going to be the game. <laughs> Oof, that was brutal. All right, so we're less close to our, to the fabled 3-1. 3-0, those are the numbers we're looking for, a three and a zero. Oh yeah, this is a good one. Two drop into three drop. Finally, a hand that actually plays things early. Get him. This guy. Uh, let's tap this guy. How about that? Got him. Oh my god. Come on. Ah, oh, God. That's... Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh.
Hmm. Borrowed time, huh? That's actually pretty good. I guess we're just passing here. One more land, we can play Stitcher Giralf, which seems good, right? They have five cards. We have two cards. Oh my god. What are you getting rid of? Jacob Hauken? It's gotta be Hauken, right? That guy's really good. Don't deny me my looting abilities. Malevolent Hermit. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Oh, yes. Let's get rid of this guy. Play this. All right, fingers crossed. That guy's fine. Don't hate it. Countering instants and sorceries. That guy's very good. Don't love it. Oh, that's rude. Wait, really? Oh, that's pretty good. What? That's a block I'll take. Am I missing something? That had to be an accident. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Let's try to hit a black source. Oh, what we could have done is play in this, discarded this, flip this, and then cast it for free. Wow. Okay, so next turn we're gonna be we're gonna be living fat. No. Dang, it's so close. Well, right now we can actually exile two and hopefully exile two. Yeah, we're just passing here, and next turn we're going to be trying to... A punt for a punt. Well, yeah, I think my punt was significantly less. I was hoping for the land to cast it, and I was like, oh, wait, we can just flip this guy with the six land and then cast it for free. But now we can get Soren and Dinner of a Horror underneath. And if we don't hit a black, then we're getting to play both, so maybe it was for the best. Midnight Haunting is Gucci. It's a lot of floaters you got here. Tapping Giralf. We'll definitely activate Giralf. Uh oh, interesting. Okay, hold on. Equal to the power, right? Total power. X up to two creature cards put into the graveyards this way. So zero and zero. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. But they don't get a spirit this way, so I actually think it's fine. Like, the alternative is I get a, a one if I do one and one, which doesn't really do much. But now I can actually at least make a spirit. Yeah, this is a good turn for them. Sure. Ooh. 
Wow. Okie dokie. I mean, we got the block, which is still good. <clears throat> okay. So, three, four, five, six. I think I do just want to put the land under here so we have a land to play from this. But I, I guess we have so many spells that, like, it really doesn't matter. We should have played land and kept a blue up, I guess. Maybe that would have been good. Like what are they they have a lot of power on here? Oh, we can actually just kill straight up kill like their niblis if we want to. That's actually kind of cool. I guess we can do that with Soren as well. So I think I like Dinrova Horror better because it just protects. Yeah, they're out of cards, so we just bounce Niblis and then they have to discard it. What's the best first pick and the worst last pick in the cube? Jay, bro, I look forward to the day where you ask me questions that actually have solid answers to them rather than just <laughs> these really obscure open-ended questions. Yeah, so they made a spirit, so now they can attack for six. We go to four... But they have no cards still, and we do have a Soren. If we can draw a Resto, I feel like we're going to be straight crushing. Oh, they only want to attack for five because they want to keep up a Tapper for Shacklegeist. Sure. One, two, three, four. If we kill the Shacklegeist, they have five power... Then we get to draw our own, we get to play our own Shackle guys, so they shouldn't actually have enough to. What did we hit? Journal A. Oh, we also gain life off of Soren. That's pretty good. Oh, and we can also make another. Yeah, we're actually doing fine here. We're just going to go for two. I don't think I need more than that. Have a creature, sure. Can we do all of it though? One, two, three, one, two. Actually, we can, I think. If we play land here, we go land, one, two, Geist. And then we have one, two, three, and then so we can activate Giralf and make a token. That seems good. These guys can't block anything, so we might as well get in there. We're now at seven. And they have zero cards in hand, so I think we've taken reasonable control of this game. Just want to make sure nothing has to be done at instant speed. Or sorcery speed, rather. Like, oh, you can't actually activate this on your turn. Yes. Flying lifelink pro vampires. Uh, power and toughness equal to the number of permanents you control that are spirits and or enchantments. Sure. Great in the spirit deck, as you can imagine. Oh. 
Interesting. So they can put another spirit into play with Mausoleum Wander. This is game three for all the marbles. One, two, three. Let's get busy milling. Uh, let's take Snapcaster and Resto, I guess, though. Make a 5-5. Five, five. Make a dose dose. I guess they, I was going to say, I guess they have two spirits, but that doesn't really matter. So they have no cards. I think we just block two of the, two of the tokens and let Soren take three. Because I don't really want to lose my Shacklegeist. Yeah, this feels pretty good. Oh, they didn't attack Soren. They attacked our face. Oh. Well, that's even more surprising, I guess. I feel a GG incoming with our almost inevitable board state. Good old island. So, how many counters does this come into play with, you think? Seven? Okie dokie. Well, that's pretty good. Um, so we kill a blocker. What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I guess we could have taken bonds, put bonds on here. They have no cards, so let's just try to let's just try to close it out. You know what I'm saying? You feel me, bro? Oh, we can just play Fleeting Spirit, make a token, and then not have to worry about. We're good. Uh, shackly backily, tap the two that just came in. Don't say. Sh don't say shackly backly. All right, so let's go to attacks. Huh? Five, eight. 12. 12. Exact seas. Mm. Beautiful. Beautiful. Finally trophied with the, with my own cube. <laughs> nice to do it. Nice to do it. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out Factor. It's a great meal delivery service and it's a great way to support the channel. Even if you're just getting it to support the channel, still a significant deal. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.